The chamber hosted an event to help businesses get to know TIFI, a paradigm-shifting approach to humanitarian work by utilizing tried and true business principles to provide sustainable change. And joining us today to give us some insight on TIFI is Robert Workman. He is CEO of that organization. And Robert, thanks for joining us. It's good to be here. Thank you. I think we start with the basics and say, tell me what is TIFI? What, is that, what does that stand for? And, and what are you trying to accomplish with this organization? Uh, TIFI stands for Teaching Individuals and Families Independence through enterprise. That's a big mouthful. So we call <laughs> tai it Tai Fi. <laughs> right, that's Tai Fi. What we do basically is we go into a country, normally a developing country, and look for a business opportunity that will create jobs. And then with that we we fund it, we provide the management, we teach the local people on the ground how to run a, the business, eventually they take over and they create jobs and help their families. So it's different than a traditional charity where you're essentially soliciting donations and then take that money and go try to distribute it in a good way. They're, they're, the difference is then the sustainability. That's primarily it. We, uh, all of those things you pointed out, all that uh, good giving is good. There's nothing wrong with that. We take a little different approach though that the money that we received, first and foremost, we look at how we're going to create a business, a profitable business that can grow and create jobs. Because once that's accomplished, then it's sustainable. And the people themselves can create the wealth within their families and then learn how to give within their own country. And, and stop this kind of this cycle of having to go back on the same project year after year to get more funding. It actually self-funds. And when those extra funds come in, you can continue to grow, but it's also sustainable within itself. How did you get the idea? I mean, you were a successful businessman. You had some, some ventures that were uh, very, well, you know, very successful. So uh, how did you make that connection from, oh, this is what I've done in business to this is how it could benefit others? It was a really a short step. I I worked in uh, developing countries all my life in my business, uh, especially in Asia. And I was able to see small farmers grow into multi-million dollar companies, hire within the family to hire a couple thousand employees. Uh, that is where I saw real sustainability and really what people need to take care of their own families. And so when we were looking at what we we're going to do for the rest of our lives, that model then uh, was already ingrained. I already saw it. So it was just how are we going to replicate it in more of a humanitarian or social responsible way. You made an interesting point uh, earlier today at the, the chamber event. Uh, one plus, the principle of one plus zero. I just think that that was uh, worth going over. Tell me a little bit about that principle and, and how it plays in. Uh, I think people get caught up sometimes uh, either with themselves or giving one person or themselves too much credit for what gets done. Uh, one plus zero principle is, is just says one plus zero is always going to equal one. It'll never change. You can't multiply it. You can't make it greater. But one plus T, which we say is team, then you can affect humanity because it certainly a, a team and group of people, the multiplying effect is much greater than one person. You've had some challenges. What would you say is the biggest success you've had so far? Well, I have to say two things okay. because to me, I measure success by the amount of jobs that we create. And if the company that we've created is profitable, and if the people that are on the ground and the local people can run that company, that's then success. So the, we've, we've achieved that in one of our companies, which is our transportation and trucking company. But the real success comes from the jobs we created and what the people were able to do with those jobs. I'll give you one example. One of our key people, his name is Tommy Mahendra, had a very ill boy um, and he, with malaria, they had to rush him to the emergency room. He had to have a blood transfusion. And because Tommy made a significant wages and because he had health insurance, his boy was saved. The next day, our director and, uh, and a visitor were going to go visit Tommy and his son in the hospital. 
and there was a mother and a father who was carrying their passed away child out of the room, out of their uh, house. And so they stopped and asked them what happened. Their son had died of malaria. And the reason he died is because he couldn't have afford ten dollars worth of medicine or they couldn't take him to the doctor where our employees could take him to me that's success we've really were able to change a life and actually save a life very rewarding work I'm sure uh, businesses today were very interested a lot of business leaders that heard the presentation uh, for those who weren't there but watch this uh, how can they get involved probably two or three different ways first of all um, if they're interested in doing or copying our model or being involved with us, there's two ways that I can think of right now. One is to get involved with us on a project where they could par partner up with us. Uh, the second is if they have a country or a project that they would like to duplicate what we're doing, then come and learn about us. We'll teach them everything they need to know, all of our mistakes, what to watch out for, and how, how this can really change life. I find that when businesses are personally involved in a cause, it makes a huge difference because they become that. Uh, let me explain what that means, if I could, just for a minute. Sure. There's a lot of people, and myself included, as we grow in our efforts, we're given assignments and we take a project, I call it love them and leave them, and we go do good and then we leave. Taifi, the difference is, is we don't leave them. We stick to the task and we don't give up. And so if businesses want to get involved with Taifi, be prepared for some work because <laughs> we have plenty to do. But make a project out of it, not just a donation, but make a project. Robert Workman is the CEO of Taifi, a paradigm shifting, I think it's fair to say a paradigm shifting organization, uh, helping people in impoverished parts of the world. Robert, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.